Hello everybody and welcome to another Cities with John episode. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride today as we are filling in some additional commercial area. And here you see I already built a shell station and a Walgreens. Love my Walgreens. And now we're going to add to it. So what we are accomplishing today on this video is we're just kind of filling in some area across from the new casinos that is going to just be sort of a commercial uh, retail type setup. I was kind of just trying to have a, uh, a good <coughs> um, across the street vibe. I debated a little bit about maybe putting in an additional hotel or maybe another casino or something like that, but I'm kind of split um, on a, a couple of things. Um, I should probably explain. So first off, I'm I, this area is not a, uh, a huge population uh, area, so it's kind of like a you know, people come over here to gamble, or they come over here to get to the beach, or they come over here to spend the night at the hotels, or whatever the case may be. Um, it doesn't necessarily, it's not close to what's going to be the large population area in my map, which, quite frankly, has not been established yet. <coughs> uh, yeah you know one day I'll build a downtown but with all the commercial and uh, resorts and all this stuff we're definitely gonna need some more people uh, to work in all these establishments and more to come on that we will uh, definitely be putting some residential areas close by in one of the next episodes and speaking of that plan of right now, and this is the sixth episode in this beach series, the plan of action as of right now is to have this thing more or less done by episode 10. And I'm not sure exactly which direction I'm going to be going in next as far as if I want to do residential spot or more fun commercial or, or whatever we'll see um, but um, for now like I said on today's episode we're just kind of adding some commercial so keep in mind where the location of this is we are right across from um, a uh, place called Kokomo and poor man so these areas around this, lots of industrial stuff, and oh, by the way, I got rid of the floating parking lot. It doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry to bum you out. But the Kokomo area that you see in the background, uh, surrounded by large brick walls, kind of kept away from the rest of the world, so to speak. And the bike path that goes behind these uh, this strip here and the green uh, overpass pedestrian sidewalk all that was part of the original industrial uh, part that I built over here <coughs> and this is all intertwined with really where the map began so it's kind of exciting to go through and repurpose some of this stuff and make it uh, give it a little bit of a new life with that being said you know, you might ask, why would you want a Dollar Tree across from a casino? Why do we have this Bell Bonds place? And that's why, because this isn't exactly the greatest neighborhood, and it's going to be a this is this is revitalizing it. Uh, the casino and uh, the resort, and and this is really going to revitalize it, I think. But as you can see we do have a lot of industrial zoning going on and we've got to get rid of these silos um, goodbye silos one by one 
we are going to destroy you. And they gone. <clears throat> so now we're going to just throw in some real quick kind of a strip mall looking stuff. And I downloaded these really cool assets. Uh, they kind of uh, go together pretty well. They're like strip mall. Almost like strip mall type stuff. They all have their own individual look. But they do look really fantastic for this. Uh, just the look that I'm going for. But unfortunately, the zoning is on the other side of the street, so we're having to turn around these buildings and uh, connect them like so. Just kind of throw them all together here. There we go. So it certainly has been a lot of traffic since uh, I started this, um, well since I threw up the casinos, definitely a lot of foot traffic and a lot of new people coming to the area. Excuse me, and um, I'm very pleased with everything so far. Uh, people are taking the sidewalks, the different paths. Traffic is at 80% uh, when I checked at the beginning of this and so everything's gonna going smoothly. We've got that rail problem fixed. Uh, if you didn't watch it, check out the uh, video with some traffic fixing going on because that was certainly a, an experience. Hopefully I don't have to go through that again. But you see these little strip joints, they're just kind of hole-in-the-wall type places. Very, very cool looking buildings. And they work perfect for this. Uh, exactly the look I'm going for right here. You know, it, it doesn't have to be all luxurious. It doesn't have to be block after block of just really nice places. And that's why I decided to uh, put this strip in because these places are not necessarily super brand names but we will be putting in some brand name places before too long and we just destroyed a building by putting in a sidewalk I hate when that happens oh look at this little barber shop I take you to the barber shop what a great song wait a minute that's, never mind. Um, so these strips really, you can just line them up one by one, and they make a, a really cool, um, really cool strip. Max Barbershop. That's a pretty cool place to get a haircut. Um, but you line them up, they make a nice, nice little strip joint, and people will come in droves for their cheap cigarettes and off-brand pizza. So we're, it's not all going to be this. Uh, it's not all going to be these hole-in-the-wall type places. We will throw in a few nicer establishments. And we're just going to plop down these buildings here. <coughs> Let's just kind of throw those down and see just kind of do a little bit of finagling here. Having to revolve those is somewhat annoying, but not the end of the world. So in the coming episodes, a couple of things that I want to really do, I, I really just kind of want to finalize detailing around the main casinos there. And I am debating about the main tower on the Rio Grande. I'm uh, wondering if maybe I should go a different route. It just, it's huge. I mean, I like the look at it. Uh, I like the looks of it. It's a really cool looking asset. And at the beginning of the video, you know, it looks cool and flybys and, and using the camera extension mod and all that it looks really cool but man it's so big that uh, I don't know it's just it's just really huge 
So I don't know. We might save that. We might end up using that as a downtown hotel that's not even really a casino or something. We'll see. Um, but um, these commercial buildings here are, I believe, King Leno's assets that are um, Red Rock Plaza. And they just work perfect together, too. You can line them up. You can even, uh, as I did at the one that's at the corner there, <coughs> you can actually make it stick out a tad and it still looks like it's connected the same way with the rest of the strip and for here we're gonna kinda make these a little bit more name brand they're a little bit nicer uh, directly across from the main casino um, and there is a sidewalk beside it that is heavily used as you can see people up and down on both sides there so we're going to put in a few more uh, shops along here that are a little bit a little bit nicer. And how about a bank? Yeah, there we go. Chase Bank. I think a bank makes perfect sense. You need money if you're going to gamble. Or if you're going to talk to one of the ladies of the night on the street corners. I wonder if they, you can download that. On the uh, workshop it's very possible I would not doubt it one bit so here we have a couple of crosswalks and I think what I'm gonna do here is just kind of throw down some decals and make like a very wide sidewalk um, that will serve as I mean since since there's those two cross paths there uh, crosswalks we'll just kind of use these um, pavement decals are kind of like a rougher pavement decal and we'll just kind of plop those down and then what we can do we'll use our invisible sidewalk just like so well you know what actually instead of using that wide one get rid of the wide one let's just use two of the more narrow ones <coughs> and we will kind of add something here in the middle to divide that so one thing that I really you know one goal I guess you could say that I wanted to definitely do uh, was make sure that we uh, make sure that we had a really good infrastructure as far as foot traffic because my people love to walk. They walk all over the city. It's not just this area. It's like walking mania. And I guess I established that earlier, early on when I first started this city, making the crosswalks um, and uh, pedestrian bridges that I made right off the bat. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But man, do the people love walking. Um, and until a couple of videos ago, we did not have commuter lines, and now we have commuter lines. We have a commuter station pretty close by. We have actually two commuter stations. We have one um, just north of this and one just west of this. So nothing right, you know, nothing right here by the resorts, but... Um, plenty of access to get around fairly easily and we have the bike lanes we have a lot of good setup for <clears throat> the sims to walk around I think that's uh, I think that's important for our growing city but with all this uh, with this resort and all this here it's basically you know I've kind of decided that I'm not going to put my downtown close to this part of the map. I want to put it somewhere else and I want to um, you know keep this part as kind of like a get away from it all type uh, part of the map. Yes there's high schools, there's plenty of jobs over this way, there's plenty of things to do, there's a mall, all that kind of stuff, but this is kind of 
away from it all. Uh, kind of an escape without having to go to another area that's not on my map. Um, I guess when you make these maps you don't really think about oh, is there somewhere else people can go? I mean this is it. So I'll be traveling across across the map to come to this uh, this resort area. I'm throwing in uh, this is a uh, Mexican restaurant I believe it is. A really cool looking building. I'm kind of just throwing in a little patio here using some brick decals. And one thing I have been trying to do a little bit more is just use props. Uh, well, be smart about prop usage, not just going crazy with them at all times. Um, because you do have to, when you make these cities, you got to remember there is a prop limit. So it is possible that you will run into that limit at some point. I don't think I'm anywhere close to it. I know there is a way that you can actually get on. Um, I think there's a mod <coughs> that you can actually see your prop count, but I'm not too concerned about it. I don't feel like I am um, that close to it, so we'll see. Um, here we have uh, kind of one of these abandoned type buildings that's maybe still in use. And to be honest with you, I didn't mean to prop it down. Didn't really even mean to plop it down, but I think it looks kind of cool here. I'm going to put this fence around it and kind of, um, maybe it's like a, you know, like, okay, well, that was built on the old road there that cut through and nobody uses it anymore, but it's still around. And what is it used for? Well, we don't want to know, but there it is. So, so next thing, guys, is this billiards hall. Oh, it's really cool looking building and I've uh, been wanting to use it for a while and I think sticking it over here would be uh, would be ideal if not we have some it might not fit here yeah actually I think that looks alright surprise it has that palm tree attached to it that's kind of a uh, most uh, most assets do not have a tropical theme built in, so that's that's uh, helpful. Um, don't have to add it myself or change the trees uh, with prop it up, so that's pretty cool. And but yeah, this billiards hall is really neat. It's got the little pool up on top with the uh, uh, beach chairs and all that little bar up there on top and. I think it's just a really nice asset. I really like it. Um, and then beside it here, being it's a billiard hall, let's see if maybe we can throw in a club. Probably not the hot pink building. I think that's a. I think that's an adult place that I don't want to have right here necessarily. We might put that down the street. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, we have some clubs. Where are those? Where are those little clubs I had? I want the comedy club. Oh wait a minute. I think I. Go into the growables here. Yeah, here's one. Never mind. That's a little too big, probably. Oh. Okay. Well, let's just drop this small kiosk type. That actually looks all right there. <coughs> so we got a couple of them here. Ooh. All right. Well, that one's got some uh, got some vegetation with it, but that's okay. We can adapt that we can actually let's just put some dirt around that um, yeah that's all right well maybe we can just put some curbs on it again I want there to be a lot of options for people to oh I've, I'm gonna have to move these buildings back there's people just walking through them um, I want there to be a lot of options, lots of things, and it, it to be a uh, uh, 
you know, lots of buildings and lots of commercials. But I don't really have to have, you don't really have to place everything right on top of each other. You can do it, you can do it differently. Um, and that's what I'm going to, uh, that's what I always try to do, really. Um, but, so that's, uh, that works all right. You know, using the curves there to kind of make that look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to take these um, little uh, safety pedestrian pole type things. I'm just going to copy and paste them over here. Just going to take these out since people are going to be driving into that shell. strip and move it all the way down here by Walgreens. That'll work. I love the Walgreens asset. I've used it multiple times. Um, but it is a really nice looking building. And you know I was trying to think of what's on the Vegas strip, you know what's what's on the Vegas strip that you don't really think about when you think about Vegas you don't think about Walgreens. <laughs> but it's there so yeah uh, but these little poles uh, that I'm using just ideas to keep cars that might run off the road from running over too many people and, and we definitely don't want that so so the parking lot that I put between Walgreens and Shell let's see if we can kind of add on to it and make it where it's part of like a cut through here. I don't really want cars to cut through there, but cars are going to be driving over that grass regardless if there's a parking lot there or not. So let's see if we can maybe get it to fit. I think we can make it work. Just kind of line it up. in actually what we'll do is we we'll use the asphalt we can just kind of use this all around this shell station as somebody drives right over it as I'm putting it down jerk Just kind of move this around, get it, get that. Well, that shell station sticking way out. We already have cars just deciding to do whatever they please. I'm building a drive-through for the car wash. Could you at least wait until I get that down before you start running, driving all over the place, please? No, maybe. All right. Well, enjoy your stay. Um, okay, so just copy and paste some of this asphalt. And yeah, we'll just do this. Just kind of make it appear like that comes all the way straight through. Tidy it up a little bit. You can kind of do the same thing on this side, but I kind of want to. Maybe we could just do a. Just kind of do a road through here. Um, that way, there's more of a natural entrance to the shell and then what we might do because I think if cars are coming in and out there at the front that might be just a tad bit uh, dangerous for people walking through 
So I'll tell you what we'll do is we will, let's put down some of this asphalt here. Asphalt squares. Okay. Very good. Yes, very good. And I wonder if we can, what we can do is just kind of block this entrance. And we'll almost use one of these barriers that looks like something where maybe it wasn't always that way, but then. Shell decided, hey, there's way too many people uh, getting ran over with cars driving directly out of there. Let's see, throw this do not enter sign. Let's see, as usual, I, I'm getting completely off track. That building just kind of caught my eye, and um, I think would uh, help kind of. I, I don't feel like it's I feel like it's a little odd looking with just those two little stores spread out. Let's just kind of put that in there. So what we'll do let's just move that into that and kind of connect them like so. Okay, cool. All right, cool. That kind of. That kind of thickens that up, makes it look, I think that looks a little better. Uh, so, anyway. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I think that turned out, uh, I think that turned out pretty good. Let's just add this concrete curb. Um, that is kind of, a not where I wanted it to be. Let's try that again. Curb appeal medium is uh, a nice little, nice little prop to kind of add to a uh, kind of add to a curb. And let's see, a couple of palm trees. That same, I guess I could have copy and pasted it, but use that same curb. Actually, we'll just do this. There we go. People seem to be walking on the other side of that. Inning. Oh, somebody's, oh, they're walking right through there. I'm going to have to come back and adjust that sidewalk at some point. I like the little Pac Man ghost for the invisible road. I don't really understand why the Pac Man ghost is an invisible road. But if you understand it, please comment and let me know. So I was thinking about adjusting that road there, but. up no not that one either it's the what was that one I'm not even sure what I used maybe we'll just go with that yeah just, just, this just tad okay we'll go with that turn off the parking all right so well, that just about wraps up today. I know that was kind of a random episode, but I do like the looks of this um, area here. I think it turned out pretty cool. You know, right across from casinos, lots and lots of foot traffic, lots of people getting gas, getting some uh, essentials at Walgreens, the home of happy and healthy. Shout out to some new followers out there. 
uh, appreciate each of one, each one of you subscribing to my channel and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was a little bit of a random thing but I uh, had to throw this video together because my new computer is coming Santa Claus it must have been good this year so thanks for watching have a great Christmas thanks for coming along for the ride and we'll see you next time on Cities with John bye bye everybody